After a long wait, season three of Sex Education is finally here, and the new season is bringing a lot of crazy things that we wouldn't even have expected. Who's this? Mavesty. No, I meet the goat. What new characters will we meet in season three? Will there be a time skip between the second and the third season? And most importantly, will Otis reveal his feelings to Maeve IRL now that the voice message is deleted? Keep watching to find out. A crazy good plot. With the official announcement about the renewal of the show in February 2020, Netflix already gave us a bonus video about what we can expect in season three. Alistair Petrie, who plays Principal Groff, gave us a rundown, but it's not like we can forget Jean Milburn's pregnancy or Isaac deleting the voice message, which left us all shook. And that will definitely be talked about in the upcoming season. It's not like Otis and his mom are besties, and we believe the pregnancy and the whole atmosphere with a baby on the way will be quite interesting to watch. In short, the baby is going to cause some drama. The legendary actress Gillian Anderson, who plays Jean, said this in an interview. She's still pregnant when we find her again, and so we see that Jean is trying to negotiate how to deal with that in relation to Jacob and also Otis. We think the baby might worsen their relationship with Otis and there are still a lot of things left unsaid between Jacob and Jean, so there's a slight possibility that we'll be finding our way to them again. Another thing that we know for sure is that we're starting with a slight time jump. It was teased by none other than the star of the show, Asa Butterfield. There's a bit of a time jump since the season two cliffhanger, he revealed in an interview. Otis is back at school, but he's got different things on his plate. He's grown up a bit and has become slightly more sassy. It's been fun to portray his newfound charisma. Don't worry though, he's still tragically awkward too. We got snapped by paparazzi while filming and people have been freaking out about Otis having a mustache. We now officially met the mustache and we can't wait to see it in action. Okay, quick question that we need to ask. Are you a fan of Otis's new look? Please tell us in the comments. We're still getting used to the mustache if we're being honest. And in school, it's very likely that some serious stuff will go down, as Moordale Secondary gets a new headmistress, Mrs. Holly Haddon. It seems like this girl boss is set on her goal to transform the school into something representable, and we don't think the students will like that very much. From the sneak pics released by Netflix, there are now uniforms at Moordale. Can you believe that? We need to know what will happen to our beloved Eric and Adam. It seems like there are some major troubles in paradise. After all, we were collectively holding our breath while watching Adam confess his feelings towards Eric in the middle of the Romeo and Juliet play. It's safe to say that Eric and Raheem are no longer Endgame. And in the promo video from February 2020, it sure as hell will be seeing the outplay of it all. Will they become a public couple? And will Adam confront the shame he feels about his sexuality? Or will we see their relationship take a completely different turn? In the preview image, they're seen hand in hand, looking all loved up. Honestly, we love that for them, but we know how all the Netflix shows are, so nothing is set in stone yet. And of course, Otis and Maeve. He did what he had to do and proclaimed his feelings for her through voicemail. But what will happen now when Isaac the Snake has deleted the message? Will Otis say anything? With his new facial image, he might have the confidence to look cool, more grown up, and more importantly, over Maeve, but we don't think he'll have the guts to bring up the voicemail again, so he'll probably just assume the worst, that Maeve ignored his confession and that she simply doesn't care. Still, it's safe to say that this is not the last time we're hearing about these two lovebirds. From recently leaked pictures, it looks like we might be getting a Maeve and Otis kiss in the rain. Oh god, romance is still alive and well. Just look at them. All that the star of the show, Asa Butterfield, who plays Otis, said is, People get quite cross when we tease them and stretch it out. Their relationship continues to develop in season three. But there's another theory circling the internet, and that's that Ruby will fall in love with Otis. These two hooked up in season two, but it wasn't heavy with any kinds of feelings. But still, they had some kind of chemistry and connection, which is more than enough for them to develop some kind of relationship. Of course we had sex, Otis. I'm not here because I enjoy your company, but I can't find... The reason we brought up this theory is that in the leaked pictures, we can see that Otis is holding hands with none other than Ruby. Otis and Ruby shippers are popping the bottles. So who would you like to see with Otis, Maeve or Ruby? Most importantly, we've been teased about the massive ending of season three. Strap yourselves in, guys. It will be really interesting to see if they do four what they're going to do. It's massive.
said Rosa Diaz, the costume designer. New students? Don't worry, guys. All your faves will be returning on the screen. We'll be seeing Asa Butterfield as Otis once again. He said in an interview, I want Otis to come out of his shell a bit and maybe do some other things he's never done before. He likes his bubble and his safe space. I'd like to see Otis come out of that and start to tread on some new ground in Season 3. Nakuti Gatwa will obviously be returning as our iconic Eric. Like, come on, he won a BAFTA award for the role. He revealed that in Season 3, Eric returns back to his culture a lot more and I think those scenes were very special. Just kind of having a set where the majority of people were black was really great and really powerful, and representing Eric's culture and his family, those are always very quite profound moments. Emma Mackey as Maeve will be back as well, this time with brown fringe decorating her beautiful face. And of course, Connor Swindles as Adam, Keter Williams Sterling as Jackson, Amy Lou Wood as Amy, Tanya Reynolds as Lily, Patricia Allison as Ola, Mimi Keene as Ruby, and much more. But in Season 3, we can get ready for some new characters as well. Jemima Kirk is joining the cast as a new headmistress nicknamed Hope by Netflix. Is she a hope for the school's reputation? She certainly came to fix it and stop all of the sex talks. Her character was described by none other than Emma Mackey. She said, This character lulls you into a false sense of security. She's cool, she's young, and you don't really correlate that with being headmaster or headmistress, says Emma. Jemima plays on that duality really well, I think. She manages to manipulate you and kind of play you the whole time. Well, we sure have a wild ride ahead of us. Dua Sale will play Cal, a student who clashes with Hope. We can't wait to see her on our screen. Emma revealed that Dua's amazing and they're so talented and they just completely fit in and work their magic. The third star joining the gang will be none other than Mr. Malfoy, aka Jason Isaacs, who will play Peter Groff, Mr. Groff's more successful and less modest older brother. Season 4 in the mix? It's hard to say if Netflix decided to strive for a trilogy or if we'll be getting another season after the third. We're sure that season 3 is going to be a hit, but is the fourth season even in the talks? Whatever happens in 4, if it happens, wow, the writers have got a challenge. They've got a massive challenge on their hands, says Rosa Diaz, the show's costume designer. The casting director, Lauren Evans, spilled that we hope that it goes beyond three, and four and five, as long as people want it, as long as the stories are there to tell. Guys, all you need to do is start counting down the days, because we'll see the show pretty soon. In Ace's own words, let me just say, you lot aren't ready for season three. Trust me. Release date. So far, according to IMDb, the third season is supposed to have eight episodes, which seems right as that's the same number that season one and two have. With the release date, the show's breaking their tradition of dropping the show in January. The season will land in our subscription boxes on September 17th. It took a while to film the show since the pandemic complicated the filming process in the whole industry. Will you be watching? Do you have any last minute predictions? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching.